the best moments, I think the first finger I replanted because, and it was in my residency, and you take a, a finger that has been amputated and you put it back and it becomes pink. The moment that it becomes alive again, that was something that influenced my, the rest of my career because then I did the microsurgery training to try to see how you can transfer tissues from one side to, to treat defects of the other sides or you put back parts that have been probably damaged or beyond repair, sometimes you think. And the second moment was when, the, when I saw the family of that cleft lip child walking into the room. So those two things were brought together in what I'm doing here now. For the clefts, during the pregnancy, the patients have always the um, ultrasound. So that ultrasound shows at some point, sometimes, that there is a cleft lip. We'll see the parents before they are born, and they, we talk to them about what happens after the baby is born, what is the cleft, which kind of procedures are available to treat uh, the disease. And um, we see the baby right away after the birth, like day one or day two. Um, whatever, you know, wherever they are, we go and visit them. So these things make make it more, much more easier for the family because they know what is going to happen, who they are going to see, and uh, they are happy. They are almost expecting us when the baby is born. I see them at the prenatal. They are very overwhelmed. But the, when the baby is born, they are all happy, and they know already what's going to happen. So I, I see completely a different picture when the baby is born. I love traveling, and uh, I love food. So um, I go back to Italy if I have a vacation or um, I go to, to the new restaurants and uh, trying to, to see what is new there. I'm not a great cook, so <laughs> I have to find outside what I cannot do for myself. <laughs>